affirmation today is all things work together for good. And I know sometimes we have uh, circumstances or situations that are so challenging and they seem uh, so negative that it's hard to find the good in them. Where is the good in this situation and how is that working with me towards getting me to my place of good? And uh, this is the time when we really, really rely on our faith. It is faith that gets us through these challenges when we know that uh, we don't have that aerial view, so to speak. We don't see God's entire plan, so we don't know sometimes these really, really disturbing uh, detours, these really disturbing and uncomfortable detours. You know, a lot of times uh, we go on a road trip and our uh, path has a detour and we're sent off down this bumpy old dirt road and uh, it takes a long time, a long way out of our way before we get back on the path and we're so frustrated and upset by that. But like I say, we don't have the aerial view. You know, we don't know if we'd gone through that way, we might have been involved in a huge pile up or, you know, some other catastrophe and certainly we don't like to focus on that or think about that. But these detours, this bigger plan of God, we need to understand that these are part of the things that are working together with us for good. I'm sure, again, that we've all, you know, had these challenging circumstances and situations. I recall last December, and for many years there was a particular car that I wanted to have, and I really, really wanted it, and it really is just stupidly expensive, and nobody really needs a car that expensive, but uh, the situation came along, and, uh, you know, I saw the deal online one day, and it was a great deal, and it was way too much money. It was the stupidest thing in the world, but, you know, sometimes we do, uh, you know, indulge ourselves, and so I had gotten this car, and, you know, I was very happy, and uh, it was wonderful and great, although, um, interestingly, as uh, needs started popping up, like if I had to make pastoral visits for the church and stuff, I was really embarrassed. Then last December, it was almost like a slap in the face. Uh, you know, there was a real dramatic drop in our revenue in the company, and uh, that was like the quickest thing I could think to get, you know, fast cash, because I had payroll coming up that I had to make payroll. And so it was kind of heartbreaking at the moment, Although, you know, I told everybody, no, no, I see the blessing in it. The blessing is, you know, that I had this asset that I could dispose of that quickly. And, you know, payroll was made and slowly things are inching up. And so then, of course, when I sold the car, I held back a little bit of money to buy just a little transportation car. And um, at the time, I thought, oh, well, that's good because this is modest and, you know, I don't have to worry about the pastoral visits. But then, you know, smoke would come out of it and... And, and that was kind of the other spectrum. I thought, you know, we want to be modest, but not, you know, devastatingly impoverished, because impoverished, that's not the message we want to send either. We don't want to look like Ma and Pa Clampett showing up every time we go somewhere. So, uh, you know, that was a challenge. And then last week, if anybody knows our freeway systems, you can't get around, you know, down the 605 to Arcadia from Long Beach. Well, then I got there, and it's like, oh, I made a mistake. No, it's in Encino. And I said, well, let's meet next week. Oh, no, no, I'll wait for you. So then I had to go to Encino, all this in this little car that I thought was going to, you know, have the wheels fall off any minute. So, you know, at the end of that trip, I decided, I, okay, this is it. I got to bite the bullet and just go and get a decent car because, you know, I'm going to be called upon this. So I did last week. And then, you know, it's a good medium because it's a nice, comfortable car. You know, it's not too opulent, but it's not too impoverished, you know, just a Chevrolet. And so that's a good thing. So, but, you know, the, when I was looking back, I mean, the challenge of having this thing that, you know, at the time I revered as really dear because, you know, I had coveted this car for a long time, which I know I shouldn't, but, you know, we all have these indulgences that we do. And it was a real challenge to let that go, but they are there and they do work together for good. So, uh, you know, as silly and strung out as that is, you know, because I wanted to keep this lighthearted and not talk about some really, you know, horrible, devastating things, uh, is that this challenge, you know, in the end, it worked together for the good, because now there is the happy medium, it's a good thing, and, um, you know, as much as I didn't want to have to buy a new car, you know, some of the features on new cars, they're more safe, and especially as I get older and my driving gets worse, it's nice to have all these, you know, sensors beeping and telling you you're going in the wrong lane and all that. So the things do work together for good, and that's the, the bigger point. So if you're at a situation, even if it's something seemingly as trivial as, you know, I have this thing that I like that I covet a lot, but I have to get rid of it. It's something I have to let go of because this other challenge is there. Realize that that's, you know, part of something that's working towards the better good. So as you go through the week, 
you want to ask yourself this question, and this is pretty important, because a lot of times we see the challenges and we only see the challenge, we don't see it as the building block in the process of our life. So do I accept the challenges as part of God's larger plan for me? So these stumbling blocks, these detours, these challenges and upsets that we experience in our day-to-day -day lives, and the reality is we're going to, because we're human, we, have, we live the human experience, and uh, as hard as you try, it's really unavoidable. And so as you have these challenges, ask yourself as you go through the week, okay, am I fighting this? Am I viewing this as a bad thing? Or am I embracing this as much as I'm able to and saying, you know what, this is a part of God's larger plan for me. I need to walk through this just like uh, in the 23rd Psalm, we're told that, you know, even though when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me and thou will comfort me. So as you go through the week, ask yourself this, do I accept all these challenges as part of God's bigger plan for me? And the good news is, the good news is that all things do work together for good because I can accept the challenges as part of the larger plan that God has for me in my life. I embrace all things as I look forward to becoming a perfect expression of God because we know that we are meant to be Christ-like and we are perfect children of God. We are created in His image. Uh, he is perfect, therefore we are perfect. So as you walk through these challenges and these trying circumstances and situations, I can accept the challenges as part of the larger plan that God has for me in my life and embrace all things as I look forward to becoming a perfect expression of God. So remember that as you're going through the week. It's always great to see people on Sunday because I get to talk about Monday, which starts the week, so I get to make great things. So as you start your week, as Monday comes along and uh, maybe you hit that traffic going to work or uh, you go in and the boss is a little grumpy or your neighbor's a little grumpy or your coworker's a little grumpy, uh, just see that as part of God's bigger plan for you. Don't look at it as a challenge, something to uh, negate and try to get out of your life or look at poorly. Realize that is part of God's bigger plan for your life, and so that's something you need to walk through. It's either going to make you stronger, it's going to lead you in a direction that you wouldn't otherwise have gone, or somehow builds you up so that you can be the perfect expression of God. So remember that as you're going through your week, and uh, by Friday you'll be smiling and perfect, and you will be that perfect expression of God in all situations and all circumstances.